Hello, I'm Ilaria Maselli, Senior Economist at the Conference Board, and this is your Economics Watch Brief for Europe for Q4 of 2019. This month, we are releasing our estimates for output growth in 77 markets. We expect growth in 2020 to be 1.3% in the euro area and 0.2% in the UK. Between the protracted Brexit talks and the mature business cycle, it is hard for the UK to escape a recession in the next quarters. GDP growth of 1.3% in 2020 in the euro area means that we expect the economy to continue at about the same pace as this year. True, recession fears are there, and even though our leading economic index has been declining for four consecutive months, the economy is far from the risk of a contraction. So far, the leading indicators are just signaling a slowdown in growth. Consumer confidence is still high, thanks to continuing job creation and a stronger purchasing power, resulting from wage growth and a very weak inflation. The key problem with the European economy right now is its export sector. European manufacturers are struggling because of the short-term challenges linked to the trade disputes and because of the long-term issues such as the fundamental transformation unfolding in the auto sector. The assumption in our forecast is that the trade dispute will abate in the coming months. This will lead to an increase in confidence among producers, bridging the gap with the consumers. Our forecast also includes estimates for output growth in the next five years. We expect the euro area to grow on average at 1.4% per year between now and 2024, and the UK at an average of 1.2%. This is about half of the output growth estimate for the global economy. Not great, but good enough for Europe. I'm Ilaria Maselli, and this was your Economics Watch Brief for Europe.